if you are a Giants fan watching this video, I am very sorry. Week 2 of the NFL preseason has just wrapped up, which means we are 2 weeks away from the NFL season kicking off. I know it's the preseason and we shouldn't be overreacting to the games that much, but the New York Giants are a different story. Daniel Jones did not have a good game, highlighted by the fact on back-to-back -back drives he threw an interception. Now to be fair, the first one wasn't that bad, but the second one was pretty horrible. But to be fair to Daniel Jones, this is his first game back after tearing his ACL last season, so I do think he deserves some leeway. But because of that contract, he won't be getting much leeway, and I blame the Giants for putting him in this situation. In the 2019 NFL Draft, the Giants shocked everyone after they selected Daniel Jones 6th overall, even though it was projected Daniel Jones was not even going to be drafted that high, and Giants fans did not take it particularly well. The New York Giants select Daniel Jones. Besides Daniel Jones' 2019 rookie campaign, the next two seasons did not inspire confidence, but that all changed when the Giants hired Bills offensive coordinator Brian DeBall to be the new head coach. In his first season under Brian DeBall, Daniel Jones had a good year and even made the playoffs. In the wildcard round, Daniel Jones was amazing, throwing for 301 yards and two touchdowns, and an upset win over the Vikings. Thanks to this improved 2022 season and that Vikings playoff game performance, Jones signed a four-year, $160 million contract with the Giants. Compared to other QB contracts, it isn't that bad, but then you remember Saquon Barkley wanted a new deal done, but the Giants decided to franchise tag him instead, which Saquon was not a huge fan of, but the 2023 season made the Giants immediately regret giving Jones that contract. He only played 6 games and tore his ACL against the Raiders in week 9, but even before the season ending injury, Daniel Jones was not looking good. He went 2-7 two with 2 touchdowns and 6 interceptions in 6 games. The entire 2023 season for the Giants was a disaster, with the Giants going 6-11 and all around it was a frustrating year. There were numerous moments of Brian the ball being angry on the sideline and being frustrated with Daniel Jones, the team was injured, and also Wink Martindale left the Giants after that season due to a rift with the ball. The season was so bad that the highlight of the year was practice squad quarterback Tommy DeVito. Yup. The offseason wasn't much better for them either. Not only did they watch Saquon Barkley sign with the Eagles, they were also featured on Hard Knocks, and it was very obvious to the entire world that they wanted to move on from Daniel Jones badly. There was even a scene where Brian DeBall openly said he would have traded up for Daniel Jones if he had the chance, but they instead picked Malik Neighbors, which is a good pick. They also traded for Brian Burns and signed some O-line depth, which should help the team out. But given what we saw from Jones in the preseason, it might get ugly. Needless to say, this will probably be Daniel Jones last year with the Giants. After this season, the Giants can opt out of his contract and get hit with a $22 million cap hit. And given the state of the quarterback room, I think that is a risk the Giants are willing to take. But maybe I'll be wrong and Daniel Jones proves us all wrong. Maybe. But the final thing I have to say is this. Giants fans, you should get ready because this year is probably going to be a long one. So get ready and get your medium sized soda prepared. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe as it helps out the channel. And check out another one of my videos over to the left. But that is all guys, I at 1dubs, thanks for stopping by.